This, for example, is a, a real gun. Christoph Kuttner runs a gun store in Essen, providing weapons, ammunition and supplies to the city's legal gun owners. Germany's firearms laws are strict. Christoph says it's practically impossible for people to get a handgun. Unless they are a hunter or a sports shooter, none, zero, no chance. Because um, you have to obtain such a gun. You have to ask the police that you want to buy a gun. You have to tell them. They will make a background check. And then, only then, after a few weeks, months, they allow you to buy a semi-automatic pistol, 9mm. But buying a gun illegally is much easier. The recent Munich shootings were carried out with a weapon bought on what's called the dark net. The 18-year-old gunman used a weapon that was never designed to be fired, but which had been reactivated. In the wake of the shooting, the German government called for more powers to be granted to outlaw such transactions. We need to pass a new European gun law as quickly as possible and implement it quickly as well. We'll make sure that online trading of arms is no longer possible with tradespeople. That may not reassure Germans who've become increasingly concerned following the Munich shooting and two other attacks in Bavaria in July. In America, the gun laws are too weak. It seems everyone has a weapon. Here in Germany, they are much tighter, but I think they could be even more so. Anything could be a weapon. You don't need a Kalashnikov or bombs. As we've seen in France, a truck could be a weapon. A car could be a weapon. The association that represents German gun store owners says the answer to the current situation is more officers on patrol. We don't need new laws. We need implementation of the existing laws. That's important. And the only way to do that is hiring more personnel to prevent the illegal trade and use of weapons. The problem is that even with more officers and tougher laws, there is no way of establishing quite how many illegal weapons are out there in the wrong hands. Which means that a repeat of tragic incidents like what happened in Munich cannot be ruled out. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Essen.